Hey guys, what's up? Skibs here, and today I have a tutorial on how to make your scenery settings look a little bit better than you would normally see in a default Minor Mater animation. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a little tip on how I do my lighting for my scenes. I can make your Minor Mater look like this. And it's running in real time. I can move around if I like to. You can use this for your animation if you wish. You could have settings that look a whole lot better than you would normally see. Almost adequate to like the Top Dog program like Cinema 4D or Maya. Maybe. There's probably a chance. You could definitely fool someone with this and say, is that my animator? I don't know, I'm talking about my butt right now. Oh yeah, I'm going to show you how to get these under settings. So, let's get right on it. So what you want to start with is making a new project. Just name it whatever the heck you want. Hit create. You want to get a scene. You can use this, but it's not required, but it just makes your scene just a little bit better. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description to the Mindmator community build if you would like to use the modded version of Mindmator. So in order to start this, you get a scene, get your schematic in, import. Once you've imported your scene, you will have, well, your scene. Now normally you'd start animating, or you import your character and start animating with this kind of lighting. Maybe put that up and just call that good render settings. It's all right, but we can make it better. So what I do is I actually scale the schematic five times. So times five now. So now it's a lot bigger. Matter of fact, it'll be above the clouds more than likely. I just turn off the clouds right now. Depending on the size of your schematic, you may want to mess with the sunlight range. For me, it'll be around 6,000 to 7,000. So about there is fine. Now, personally, I don't like hard shadows and these are kind of hard shadows. My mirror doesn't exactly have um, shadows that fade depending on how far the shadow is away from the object, or known as, I think it's PCSS. I don't remember the name for it, but that's just the abbreviation for it. What I like to do is, since this is a bigger schematic, you can do this and it won't look that much different. Well, obviously, but, you know, it won't be like very blurry like it normally would. See, if I were to scale this back to normal, look at how, uh, look how blurry it is. So yeah. I, I like to have uh, soft shadows. That, that's just my preference. You can go with whatever you want. Now we just start adjusting to where we'd like the light to you know, the shadows to be at. So I like them about maybe there. So already you can see the shadows are already looking better than normally would. I mess with the ambient color, change this to like a bluish. Yeah, see, um, normally people would just have it at default lighting, which obviously the sky, for a cloudy day, yes, but for a bright sunny day, which we're gonna make here, we want it to be blue. And with the mod here, I turn on custom biome, so I can make it more vibrant. Because sometimes I like vibrance, most of the time I don't. But for this, people like vibrance, so we're gonna make it vibrant. Next, you need to mess with the sunlight color. It's not necessary, but it helps just a little bit. Change the, uh, make it yellow. Just a hint of yellow, like that's fine. Uh, now we get our clouds in. See our clouds get in the ground. Just simply raise them up. Now we, now look at that. It's already looking better. This is the thing, the settings that I use that I've ne seen no one else use before. I turn my SSAO blur pass all the way up to eight. Turn this all the way up. I turn this up depending on how much I want it. It's so about there. Yeah, that looks ugly, I know. Um, so mess with the SSA col SSAO color, I leave it into a... About like that color, like grayish, very pale gray. And you can already tell that it's made quite a difference on the lighting. So this is what it looked like before. Now we just gave like those... Gave it some nice gradient and... Um, I get, I get better AO. The only downside to this AO is if you look on the edges here, you'll see that it, um, let's get into a better example, like here. You see how it just, like the shadows or the AO just kind of goofs up. If you look over here, it just goofs up a little bit. And you never want that, but you're going to be kind of stuck with it. So. I think actually when I hit render mode, my FPS goes down on my video. Yeah, that's stupid. But, okay. 
Regardless, um, I'd like to have them on, but unfortunately my recording software does not want me to have that on while recording. So, I'll only be taking still renders now. You can run this in real time re render, but for this video's sake, I cannot. This is what your render will look like. Now, let's go into camera settings. Camera. Now, for a still shot, uh, you can leave it at 60. That's just personal preference for... Oh yeah, that's right, it's not in real time now. So, there. Turn on depth of field. That is some nasty depth of field. So we go to settings. The depth of field for my animator is really not that great. So you can leave it on 0.5. Maybe 0.5 is pretty good. Leave it on that. It's not too heavy. Um, let me just bring that up. Now it doesn't matter. This can go with any scene. This is just for this particular render. So you can already tell that it's looking really nice. Uh, shadows could use some work. Get those donut rings. Okay, that there seems the best I can do. There's nothing you can do to avoid these shadows, but no one's gonna really pay attention to the donut ring shadows if you have something to focus on. Which really nothing really to focus on here since everything else is blurred in the background. But this is just a wallpaper. Um, now. One thing you'll probably be missing if you don't have the Minor Community build is the option to have Bloom. If you toggle that on, you'll get this bright mess here. Um, this will just help it add some more... Um, you can see how it just glows, obviously. Apparently there's a difference between Glow and Bloom. To me, they are the same. Um, just mess with it till it looks right. Don't go over edited. Um, yeah, don't don't do that. No one likes over edits. If you over edit, people throw a hissy fit. So and you don't want that. So just tweak with it till it looks right. So whenever you get it, um, you'll notice quite a difference. Not much, but a good enough difference. Uh, I gotta turn that off again. So, yeah, this will. So one, once you get that set up, now uh, you should be set and ready for making your animation now. So import your assets, lay down some stuff to make your scene more unique. Um, yeah, you can move around. Turn turn on real time rendering again. Um. I'm running quite fine, it's just the screen share is running below 20 FPS. That's I don't know why. I believe I have to change my RAM for that or mess with the settings in my recording software. Oh yeah, you should be set and ready to animate. You can set the ambient color to whichever you like, maybe have it more brighter like that. People like to have a brighter scene. Personally I like it darker. That's just that's just how I like things. So yeah, um, I hope this helps somebody. Let me know if it did in the comments. Share this with your friends or something. Maybe give them, let them, let them learn how to make their scenes a little bit better. Also, um, yeah, if this helped you, <laughs> yeah, just please share it or something. Um, there's too many people who uh, don't know the ways of Mindmaker and make some really bad content and that really hurts my remainder's rep so yeah show them this video teach them a little bit on lighting I guess and if you want to get real fancy you can start adding point lights and stuff to add some more uh, detail but this is just an easy way of making your lighting better without having to go into all that stuff so yeah thanks for watching Bye.